Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to part 3 of our pirate dark ride here in Planet Coaster. So this is utilising the brand new Amada ride system that was um, added to the game in the classic rides collection. So if you haven't seen the first couple of parts of this series so far, do check those out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the content. We've got plenty of Planet Coaster, Parkitect and Planet Zoo um, content coming over the next couple of months. So it's a great time to subscribe. Um, so on to today's video so we are continuing on the indoor ride sections just here most of today is putting in uh, the next part of the show building um, and then we do put in the next scene well part of the next scene uh, I've not had much time to record this today so it's a slightly shorter episode um, but yeah so we do continue on from the top of the lift hill uh, like I said I build out the um, the show building to cover out the entirety of that top section before the drop and I do plan out a few bits and pieces which I'll talk about in a few moments uh, as you can see here just making sure the building actually works between the ride and, and like I said uh, in the last couple of episodes I do want this to be relatively realistic so um, I want to make sure everything is it has got a reason to be there um, so what you'll see by the end of this episode today is a lot of rock work around this kind of uh, tunnel section that we're building just here um, eventually I will be building another building around this to cover everything up um, this initial building that we're putting in here is just for uh, and as you'll see in a few moments uh, just for a base for the cave that we put in so the general idea is you've come up the top of the lift hill which we put in the last episode that kind of water wheel type scenario um, and then you uh, are going back inside a cave that's the plan um, towards the side so as you're on the ride this little section that we're just about to put in here um, I am putting an open area in the cave here um, which will look down eventually onto another show scene which uh, comes after the first drop so we plan that in in this episode just so we get it in there and that's what um, gives us the inspiration to carry on the cave system so you'll see that in a few moments it'll make more sense once you want to get there in the footage um, one thing I do want to mention before we get there thank you ever so much for the comments uh, from the last couple of uh, episodes uh, keep those coming in keep your name suggestions coming in uh, and, and ideas and themes all that kind of stuff so yeah keep those coming in please I really do appreciate them and read every single one um, so and also like I say we do need, still need a name um, a couple of good suggestions and um, so yeah keep those coming in uh, and we'll pick one before we finish this ride and then we'll get it named something piratey hopefully um, so yeah keep those suggestions coming in so this uh, open section here that you're going to see in the show building, uh, this is going to be that little cave um, opening that I was talking about, which is actually going to look down onto the um, uh, further show scene in the ride. Um, taking inspiration heavily of this bit from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, as this whole ride is, if we're being honest. Uh, but yeah, there is a section in the, in the Paris version, which is very similar to this, um, where you look down onto... Uh, I think it's like the, the scene where the battle or the big uh, the pirate ship is um, so we're not going to do that exactly but there is going to be a scene down there maybe a village that you will look onto as you're coming through this little cave here um, and I think it will just give it some nice depth um, so yeah we make out this, we, we count to continue out this cave I said that was the main reason I put the, the wall so close to this section to bring uh, all this rock work in. Eventually it looked quite good by the, uh, by the time we finished with it. Um, obviously the outside of the show building needs a lot of work now because it's got rock work sticking through. But we will cover that up eventually uh, once we do a big pass of the outdoors. Um, but first of all we just want to get this in. So this is just the shell to, to attach the rocks to. It just makes it so much easier to build with rocks when you've got something to attach them to, as you can see here. Uh, but like I said, that eventually will be covered up um, to at least give it uh, more of a, a show building look than just rocks stuck on side of a building. You'll see what I mean eventually. We'll get there. <laughs> Maybe episode five or six, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, so this is only episode three. We are still sort of working our way through this one. Um, the plan for this uh, next scene after this one we're doing today uh, as it opens out a little bit we are going to make it feel like you're outdoors um, which we are using the uh, sort of star cloth pieces the, the sort of the, the black squares with stars on 
we utilise a few of those in, in this episode today. Um, one of them we use in the transition from the lift hill into this cave, um, which is not going to be there's not going to be any na actual lighting in that section. It's just going to be a, a dark corridor getting you into this cave system. Um, but like I say we do put some of the star cloth um, pieces above just to give that impression that you are transitioning into a cave. Um, but really you are just in a show building. The whole thing is in a show building from this point on. There's going to be no actual outdoor area until the end of the ride. Um, so yeah, it's all about that um, immersion and that, that feeling of being somewhere you're not. Um, and that's the key to these kind of dark rides. And especially the Disney dark rides, they're very, very good at doing that. Uh, making you feel like you are outdoors when in fact you are just sat in a little shed, essentially. Um, so this is the section I'm talking about here. So we just put in these above the ceiling and i say when we uh, do the pov of the ride um it will be set to evening so that is the sort of view you'll get on the ride so i think it works quite well um in a previous dark ride i did when i think i did the water coaster um i did actually make some animated star cloth pieces using the billboards uh, i'm not going to go to that trouble in this one if i'm being completely honest they, they weren't very good they kind of lit the room and they had a weird sort of glow to them um so yeah we're just going to use these standard pieces for this one uh, we use a lot more of them in the next scene which i put the basics in uh, the basis in sorry um uh, for in this episode towards the end and then we'll start theming that up next time so in terms of this cave then, um, very similar to the cave at the start of the lift hill, just um, uh, in here there's just going to be very ambient audio, um, again we're still setting up for the storyline of this ride, so this is the sort of the uh, prelude to seeing the pirates, seeing the boats and the theming and the town and that kind of stuff, it's basically all going to kick off as soon as you go down that first drop, that's my plan, that's when you'll go into the town, the village, the pirate areas, uh, start seeing the, the pirates battling and singing, dancing, all that kind of stuff. Very similar to Pirates of the Caribbean. But this whole top section, I just want it to feel quite... Um, uh, not not dangerous, but I want it to feel quite um, ominous. Is that the word? I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, so it's very dark, very mysterious. It's very um, just cave dripping sound effects. And I do put in some distant screams and some distant sounds as well in this cave uh, using the ambient speakers. So when you're floating through here, all you'll hear is, is this sort of really ominous sound. Uh, and that's what we're going for. And then obviously you go down that drop and then you're into the main portion of the ride. So that's the bit where we can start having some fun. So hopefully by probably not the next episode, but the one after, we should start getting into that meaty portion and start getting in some uh, pirate village town houses and all that kind of stuff basically that scene in Pirates of the Caribbean where they're singing ho ho yo ho Pirates life for me um, is, is is the scene I'm, I'm envisioning uh, so we'll get there eventually so in here like I say we're just having a few little bits and pieces nothing major in this scene I'll be perfectly honest um, but just little bits of barrels we've got this skeleton hanging again just to give that kind of imposing feeling as you go through this cave um, so yeah, apologies, it is quite dark as we're going through here, um, but a lot of this ride I want to be quite as atmosf atmospheric, so to do that I need to make sure the lighting is okay, and this scene is purposely quite dark, that's why I've used the dark blues and the dark greens. Um, there's going to be a tone change as we get into the main portion of the ride, where everything will be quite, uh, quite lit. Um, so yeah, this first portion is purposely dark, and that was one thing I really wanted to go for, to just, like I say, set up that tone for the rest of it. Um, so here we're just putting in the rest of the show building over this this next scene. Like I said, this is the scene that we're going to work on next time. Um, I do start putting a bit of work in here. Like I say, these star cloths are going to make up the whole wall and ceiling in this area. Um, again, using a lot more rock work. And this is going to give us an impression that we are outdoors uh, before you head down into the, the first drop of the ride. Uh, it's only a little one, but this is sort of just setting up that scene before we get into that. Uh, so that's what I say we're going to work on in the next episode. So as mentioned previously, please do keep your suggestions coming in for names. Uh, if you've got any ideas um, for the rest of the ride, let me know. 
Uh, I'm very much open to your suggestions. Um, and this is, like I said, there's, there's a few a few days apart between each time I record these. So uh, if you drop a comment on this video um, and I take it on board, you'll see it in the next episode. So I want this to be quite interactive, as, as a lot of the other Planet Coast stuff that we've done over the years. Um, so yeah, please do make sure you uh, drop your comments down below. Uh, and also, if you're excited for Planet Zoo like I am, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we will be doing a, quite a bit of coverage over Planet Zoo over the next couple of months up until the launch. Uh, there's a couple of spotlight videos up on the channel currently which look at specifically, um, one of the videos covers specifically the animals that have been announced or rumoured so far. And the second video, which we only went up a few days ago, looks at um, all the game features that have been either announced or talked about out there on the press so it's well worth checking out those videos if you want to find out more information about planet zoo and as mentioned please make sure you subscribe and like all the videos uh, as it really does help us out um, so it's just sort of taking us to the end of today's time lapse so thank you guys ever so much for watching um, there'll be a few little slow-mo shots at the end, not many because we haven't done that much in this episode, uh, but there's just a, a few slow-mo shots of that scene just after the lift hill, just to show you how it looks in the night and in, in real time. Uh, but for now, thank you ever so much for watching guys. Um, like I've mentioned before, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give us a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, stay updated with all of our content. Fancy a chat, head over to Twitter or Discord. All the links are down below in the description. And if you want to help us out, you can do that by going to our Patreon page. All the links are down below. Don't forget to get your comments in, and I'll see you in episode number four. Cheers, guys. Bye.